76% of online consumers said that what they care about the most in a website design is how easy it is for them to find what they are searching for. Yes, 76%. And this tells you how much it is important to make sure that when people land on your store, they can easily and smoothly move around and they can easily explore what you offer and get to know your brand more. And this honestly can never be done without a very clear and organized navigation menu. Hi there, I am Rehab and on this YouTube channel, I share with you videos related to e-commerce, entrepreneurship and more. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Shopify navigation menus in the best way possible. But quickly and before jumping to my PC, I want to tell you some things that you need to keep in mind while organizing your navigation menus. My first tip for you is to always put your customers in mind. Put yourself in your customer's shoes and ask yourself what would make sense for your customers? What would they be searching for? Let's say, for example, you sell jewelries. So most of probably your customers will want to find your products based on the product type. So you need to have a rings collection, a bracelets collection, maybe a watch collection. In this case, you need to link to all of these collections within your navigation menu. But not only that, let's say I'm shopping online for rings. There might be a specific kind of rings that I'm interested in. So maybe I want to buy a wedding ring, maybe I want to buy an engagement ring, or maybe I want to buy an everyday ring. In this case, you need to have the sub-collections within your navigation menu as well. And in order to do that, you need to create a multi-level navigation menu, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that when you move to my screen. My second tip for you is the following. When you are naming your menu navigation tabs, always use names that make sense to your customers. So let's say, for example, you want to link to your wedding rings collection. Simply use these same exact words to name your tab. This will not only help your customers to find what they are searching for and understand what you are selling, but it will also help your store for SEO purposes. My third tip for you is the following. When you are creating or maybe redesigning your navigation menu, always keep your tabs condensed. Don't exceed seven tabs for your navigation menu. And I'm talking about the first level tabs. And I'm going to tell you why. Our brains usually can't hold more than seven things or seven ideas at the same time on the short term. So if you don't want your customers to get frustrated and leave, just keep it simple and keep your tabs to seven or maybe even less to five. My final tip for you, and it is actually a sacred tip, always make sure that your menu looks good on mobile. So now we are going to move to my screen to start setting up your Shopify navigation menus. Are you ready? Let's start. So here I am inside of the Shopify dashboard and in here I want you to go to online store and to navigation. And in here under menus, this is the section where we are going to set up our navigation menus. And as you can see, by default, we have two different menus. We have the footer menu and we have the main menu. The footer menu is the one you see below in here, where you link to all of your policies, let's say to the secondary type of links, so they are not as important as the one you find in the main menu, which is the menu you use in here. And this is a, an example uh, actually about a, a store with a good navigation menu. As you can see in here, they have six different elements and under, uh, under each of these elements, they have different uh, sub collections and sub tabs. I'm going to show you how to set up something very similar to this in a few seconds, but I'm going, uh, I'm using this website as an example so you can get inspired. Okay, this is also another website in here. And as you can see, they have the main tabs and then under each tab, they have different sub tabs and different sub collections. These you see in here are the mega menus. This, uh, let's say design or this look is the mega menu. And here I need to tell you something. If you want to have mega menus on your store, you must make sure that you are using a theme that supports mega menus. And it's even better to make sure that your theme supports mega menus on the mobile version. Okay, the theme I'm using uh, in here is the focal theme, and it's a theme that I usually recommend to all of my clients. And it supports the mega menus in both the mobile view and the desktop view. 
Okay, so if you are exploring new theme, if you want to upgrade to a new online store 2.0 theme, make sure that your theme supports Mega Menus. Usually, most of the professional themes support Mega Menus. I don't think that the free themes like the Don't See, for example, uh, has this option. You might need to do some coding in order to implement this option within your store if you are going to use a theme like the Don't Theme. A very big part of the work we are going to do now will apply no matter what theme you are using. Okay, so don't worry. But if you want to have like the design, the appearance of Mega Menus, make sure that you have a theme that supports this option. And now let's get back to my screen and let's start creating our Shopify navigation menu. So going back again in here, I want to show you now my current menu, which is a very basic menu. I just have the home, I have the catalog, and I have the contact. Okay, obviously this is a trial store, so I didn't put any effort in here, but I'm going to show you how to transform these into something as professional uh, as these tabs in here. Okay, it's very important also to note that this preview is from the Dawn theme. I'm not going to use this theme, uh, in this tutorial, but I'm going to show you how my navigation menu will also appear in this theme. Okay, so going in here, I'm going first to create my navigation menu, then I will see how it looks on my store. From here, I will go to menu, main menu. You can create a new menu if you wish to start from scratch. I'm going to do that actually. I'm going to click on add menu and I will create, I'm gonna call it navigation menu header okay and I will start to create my menu items okay let's say I want to create something something similar to this in here so I want to have man woman kids gear videos magazine journal and so on okay I'm going in here and I will start my first menu item okay this item will be man but since I don't have the collections instead of here linking to the collection itself I'm gonna Put the symbol and Shopify will accept that this tab doesn't have a link okay I click on add so this is my first element in here then I will move to create the second element which is woman I will put also a hashtag because I don't have the links then in here I will put kids you must include something in here you can't keep leave this uh, empty so include the hashtag in order to uh, just create like the shape of the menu then I will click here on right here then I will put also the hashtag later on we will fill these then we have videos and so on I'm not con going to continue creating these I like in here to usually link to the about us in my opinion this is extremely important so I will see if I have an about us page on this website. I don't have, so I'm gonna use any page as an example. Let's say this one. Okay, uh, sometimes I also link to the contact us page, but for now, I guess this is fine. You can also link to the home page, but I don't see act honestly a reason to do that. We are already on the home page, and if you want to return to the home page, we can always click on the name in here and go back to the home page. Okay, so this is, let's say the main, uh, tabs my main tabs these are the first level tabs the ones I'm gonna see in here okay I'm gonna save this menu then I will start creating sub menus so I'm gonna in here to click on add menu item let's see what do I have in here in this example so under man I have tops and bottoms and headwear I'm gonna start by tops I will also link it to nothing for now so I have tops I have also buttons. Then I have, um, let's say footwear. I will only keep it to three. Okay. I will click on add. What I'm going to do now is to move this in here and drag it down the man collection so it's down the man collection i'm gonna do the same for buttons bottoms and i'm going to do the same for footwear so now i have like my main tab and i have these which 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 are my let's say second level the tops buttons uh, footwear and so on then i will create the third level 
which are the items within each tab. And as you can see in here, they have done a very good job as, at creating sub collections. So if for example, I landed on the store and I want to buy uh, pants, I know exactly where to go. I will go to woman and under that I will go to uh, bottoms and I will find pants. That's what I was talking about. That's exactly what I was talking about. Create your navigation menu in a way to help your customers to navigate and move around your store. Okay, going back in here, I will just create uh, in here a new uh, menu item. I will call it uh, type one just because I don't want to continue typing. I will also link to nothing like this. I will create uh, another one, let's say type two. Okay, then I will create some, let's say, pants, pants one, just an example. And I will create pants two. Just stay with me, everything will make sense in a few seconds. Okay, then I will have, for example, under footwear, what would I have? I have boots and that's it. So I have boots and I will link to nothing for now. Okay, so I will be moving these to be my third menu level. So I will move this one under tops like this, this one under tops as well. Then under bottoms, I will move the pants. Okay, I need to make sure that it's under buttons, so it's like this. Then I will move the second pants, and under footwear, I will add boots, okay? So uh, just let me move it around in here. Okay, so as you can see now, I have my menu tab, which is the, the first one, the first level in here. Then I have my second level tabs, which are the tops, bottoms, and footwear. Then I have my remaining tabs, so I have them in here. Can you see them? Okay, so I will click on save and I will head to my online store. I will head to uh, customize in here under the focal theme. And as you can see in here, I'm still seeing my old menu and this is because I didn't link to the new menu within the header section. So I'm going to header and in here I'm going to uh, select my main menu. In here, instead of having this one, I will click on change menu and I will choose the navigation menu header, which is the navigation menu I've just created. And I will click on select. Okay, let me save. So as you can see now, we can see the tabs that I have created in my navigation menu. So this is the man and I can see my three level. Uh, my three level tabs. This is the woman. I didn't create anything in here. Kids, gear, and about us. Okay, so now I have this appearance, but I don't want to do, to do that. I want to have something similar to the menu in here. What I need to do is to go in here to header, click on add mega menu. Okay, and this is the feature I told you about. This is a feature that's related mainly to the theme you are using. So if you want to use mega menus, please make sure that you are using a theme that supports mega menus. Okay, so from here, I will click on mega menu. And in here, I just need, and believe me, all themes work in the same way. You need to precise where you want to put your mega menu. So you need to precise under which of these tabs your mega menu would be. In this case, I want it to be under man, okay? And as you can see, now I have my mega menu, but this is not it. I can also add photos in here like they have done in here, for example, I can add these photos. So what I can do is under this mega menu, as you can see, I have the option to add one, two, three, four and five, wow, six, even six images. But this is too much. I, I guess you need to keep it simple, maybe add one or two images and that's it. Okay, use this space in here to promote something special. So if for example, you are doing a sale or if you have a new item on store or if you are launching something new or something is back on stock, use this area to highlight your most favorite products, okay? Or maybe your best sellers. So use it in a way 
to always show your customers something that would be very helpful for them. Okay, and remember, since it's since we are we can and remember since we can put photos in here, so they will be very attractive. They will be visually very attractive. So if you have a sale, for example, or something like that, also include the promotion in here. Okay. Uh, let me go back in here so under man i will go and select my first item and it's gonna be for example let's take this image as an example can you see it i will click on select in here i can add heading i can add text i can add the link and so on let, let's say for example i want to link to one of my products the heading could be for example 50 percent sale or check out our new product or something like this and so on okay let me add another uh, mega menu uh, let me add sorry another promotional block so let me add in here a different one uh, let's say for example i will add let me pick a free image as an example so i will click on insert and I will do the same. I will add a heading, for example, 20% off. And I will in here add the link for the product. So as you can see, creating this in here was super, super simple. Okay, now let's see how our mega menu will look like or how our, how our menu will look like on the Dawn theme. I'm going back and from here, I'm going to click on customize. I will go to header and select my menu in here. So as you can see, when I click in here, I have the three levels like this, but I don't have the option to add mega menus. Okay, Get, uh, going back to the focal theme, I want actually to show you how the mega menus look on mobile. Okay, and this is something I highly recommend you to do all the time. From here, choose the mobile view. Okay, click in here and see your mega menus. As you can see, the font is big. I can easily see that the menu tabs. When I click on man, I can see the uh, different levels. Very clear, very easy. I have even the promotional blocks in here. When I do woman, the same and so on. This is actually a very good example and I highly recommend you to check your theme to make sure that it has a smooth navigation menu on mobile. So this is it to how you set up your Shopify navigation menus. Now, if you want to create your footer navigation menu, you just need to, to do the same thing. Okay, create your menu levels and just link to your footer menu from your uh, theme uh, dashboard. Okay, so you go in here and you scroll down to this section, which is the footer section, and in here you link to your menu. Okay, this is gonna differ depending on the theme you are using, but most of the themes work in the same way. Thank you for watching this video and for staying up until the end. I truly appreciate that. Before leaving, I want to invite you to sign up to the free workshop I'm currently offering. In this workshop, I show you the exact framework that you should be applying to your business in order to make it strong and sustainable. This workshop is 100% free and you just need to sign up. So go down to the description, click on the link and sign up and that's it. Thank you again for watching this video before leaving. Don't forget to smash the like button, to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell because in this way, you will get notified every time I publish a new video. See you next week. Bye-bye.